Okay, so I reviewed the footage from last episode and because I, I, I vaguely remember, actually I didn't vaguely remember, I specifically remembered seeing something saying schema. Schema and then a number and a number. And it was actually from this control panel. I know I thought I saw it somewhere else and we could relate back to it. It wasn't. When I opened this up, I read that I was like schema 11.7. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Before I realised that the, the number changed. So that doesn't actually help us. So what we're going to have to do is... We're going to have to try and explore with someone. I don't really know... I'm pretty sure the bear can't go anywhere. Yeah. We did something with the... We did something with the brain, and the problem is I don't actually know what we did. We successfully removed the tumour. It's not a tumour. But why did we do that? Like, what what was the end goal there? Attempting to connect to Deep Sea 15. Or maybe that opened up a communication channel. Ah, maybe that opened up a communication channel, just although it wasn't explicit in doing so. What are we missing with her? I don't know what this is. Yeah, I don't know how to... We've never been able to interact with that. But maybe we can only interact with that when this... You oh. can't jump that. Or swim it. I know. But I might be able to get it closer. Well, uh, Crane should have operational terminals nearby. Oh, see, I missed this. No jump path to target. Unlock local terminal, bruh. Crane operational access. Really? It's unlocked. Uh, I can use the crane controls now. Um, I think. Right, okay, there we go. Crane control board is damaged. 49.901 feet beyond acceptable parameters. Right, okay. Right, there we go. That, I didn't know we could click on that. Do you know why? See, this is my problem with the game. Which I mentioned before and in the playthrough. Which, it's not a big problem, but it's a problem for a person like me who forgets things relatively quickly. Is we got, well, the reason we came down here is because I knew there was a blue node there. But when we got to there, there was a cutscene that played. And when the cutscene played, I was like, oh, very nice. And I walked back that way. <laughs> I forgot to click on it. Jesus. Right, okay, okay. Well, we're, we're back rolling again. We rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, jeez. There's a scrubber inside this thing. A what? Biotech. Little device works in swarms, usually for cleaning spacecraft. They altered it for deep sea work. It melted the motherboard. If I could remove it, maybe I could fix the electronics. Guessing you can't just grab it. It would short out my whole suit. Ah, so that's what a scrubber is. We've heard about scrubbers in the PDAs, but we've never actually seen one. I actually thought it was a, a person, a human. Right, what do we have? Well, that's not good because that'll conduct electricity. The torch is empty. A defib with generator. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, that did it. Might come in handy also. <sighs> Not for eating, Moses. Hey, you never know when he might need a snack. Unconscious scrubber. <laughs> We're just carrying around creatures now. And a melted I think this board. Is a dead end, guys. Even if we put in a new motherboard, the circuits are just too fried. I can't work the crane from here. Work the problem. 
We'll figure it out. But it's okay. Our way out of here. We already know the answer. We already know the answer. Okay, let's get back to him. So, I imagine we can put this in here. No? Put that in there? <laughs> put the creature in there. Why can we not just use this for components? Oh, we could smash it. What do we get? Got it. Right, so. Thermoplastic, copper and gold. We need to find the one that, that uses that. I'm pretty sure we've already seen what one that is. Incorrect raw material for chosen schematic. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Copper gold carbon. How would you wait there? Wait, wait, wait. Would, would this not just. T Shit, I didn't inspect the ball before we broke it down. Will this not just tell you what. What number you need? Like, do we actually have to, like, just bumble our way through this? Can we not click this and automatically select the board that has these raw materials? I mean, I would imagine. For yeah, 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 shut up. Zero. We'll start at zero all the time. Oh shit, I could have done nine. I've got a better idea. Nah, the lines don't actually match up with what it needs. Or maybe it does. I put that back at zero. Next. I don't know if there's an actual logical way of finding this out good. Find it out properly. Three, four, five. Shit, I could have done eight. Jesus wept. Oh, that sounded. Bro, it give us a little jingle when we got the right one. Jesus wept. That was dog shit, that puzzle. I felt it was just a waste of time, no logic, whatever. Well, you, you knew what you had to do, you knew what you had to find it. It would have been a lot better if, when you were flicking through, it would tell you what each one was composed of there instead of having to click print and then go oh you don't have the right materials i thought that was a bit shit not gonna lie lads right now we can use that if you have any doubts today shut up we can either use that in here or we can give it to her to f try and fix that 
Well, this is a remote Korean system, so we'll use that in there. Crane controls remote access granted. Yeah. Good job. My Mac. Nine eight one two. Charlie, watch out! I'm trying the crane. It's working. It works, Mac. Problem is, the currents out there will just sweep it right back where it was. I'm going to have to hold it in place with the controls. I'd hurry. I don't know how long I can keep it still. Okay, I'm going. Let's go, baby. Run, 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 run. There she is. Pretty sure it's the same distance away as it was before. Oh, am I wrong? Okay. Okay. Ready. Jump. Jump. Ready to jump. Jump trajectory calculated. Eighty-three percent success threshold calculated. Please be careful, Charlie. Yeah. What the bear said. Are we sure about this? I may not be able to hold her still. Let's talk more action. You always come through for me. You always trust me too much. No, I don't. A little less conversation, a little more action. Time. I mean, you know, not too much time. I can't hold this thing still forever. I just Back. mean... Uh, right. Okay. I don't think it could have, he did a pretty good job. Exceptional, even. Mac! Mac! I made it! I'm very glad you are not dead, Charlie. Good job, girl. Hurry up, though. That thing could tear loose any second. Oh, yeah. All right. Who wants to go home? We will leave soon. Will we? <laughs> will we? This guy's not so sure. Proceed. Oh, it's been re-engaged. Not nice. Yeah, he just blew it up. I mean, it I mean, it just went dead. Maybe the power systems are cycling up to. Oh, God.
Yeah, I don't want to be locked in there with no door. Can't pressurize the cabin. I don't think she's going to survive long in that suit. Then again, it has got biomechanical lungs, however long they last. Where the hell is she? Oh, she's having a dream, isn't she? Mac, we are 100% unpacking this stuff today. Must be when she was younger. Mac? <sighs> Typical. Series 3 operator. Max's dad never made three. <sighs> he never had a family like this either. He always said, careful what you take on. Get too much, you tempt fate. I keep telling him, that's just old man and the sea. Paranoia. You know what I find strange? Like, not strange about the game, right? But I think the voice actors in this do, like, a really good job. I can't imagine the voice actors that were used in this game are anyone particularly famous. I think they might just be normal people. And that's maybe why they're so good. Because sometimes I think, like, when you get... You get a lot of... Uh, I say famous. People that do it for a living. Sometimes I don't think the voice acting's too great. It doesn't seem genuine or sincere. I think when you just get like a normal person off the street or maybe got a limited experience they sometimes do a good job i might be wrong these might be like official voice actors but regardless they did a really good job right so what's this salvage operation approved she's got the job or they've got the job <sighs> so fast all you have to do is blink to the bay. Oh, so that's it. Right, chapter 3, baby. What's going on now? I don't know how long the stories end. Obviously not. Charlie? Charlie is okay? Uh. Charlie is okay? Moses... What? Charlie? Charlie? Mac. Mac, I'm here. I'm okay. What happened? I don't know. An explosion, I think. You reinstated the procedure to destroy the facility. A procedure many gave their lives to stop. Well, you're a lot more coherent suddenly. The detonation removed something, some kind of inhibiting. I have not been myself for some time, I do not think. Mac, Moses, where are you? Are you hurt? Moses is unharmed. Moses is alone. I'm in this dig site, or whatever the hell it is. I'm not hurt, but it's flooding bad in here. I think this whole place is about to vanish. Fido's done for too. It's wrecked and... Warning. Dive seating frequency compromised. Energy reserves near 20%. My suit's damaged. Losing power. I think I'm in trouble. You never should have come here. We have that in common. Yeah. You've really fucked it. Come on, baby, just run. Her run! Basically crushed. We're not going anywhere in this. Warning. Dive shooting frequency compromised. Energy reserves below 20%. So we need another way out. You're running out of time. I can help you. But there is a price. And what's that? I have been here. I can't remember how long. Trapped. Help me, and I will help you. So, what? We find you, 
You get us out of here? That is my offer. And how are you going to do that, exactly? There is another drone. The Talon. I know where it is. How to access it. Free me, and I will take us all to it. Moses and I can work on finding this guy, wherever he is. Charlie, you work on getting back inside. Energy reserves below 20%. And make it quick. Yeah. I think this thing that's talking to us is the brain that we removed the tumour from because he said something's not inhibiting him anymore. We cured the brain of the tumour. It's got to be that. It has to be. It's not a tumour. No power detected. Power connection achieved. Mobile mining platform active. Warning. Dive suit energy reserves diminished. Oh, great. What is it? I found some kind of mobile mining rig. It was dead, so I powered it with my suit. You don't have much power left, Charlie. <sighs> exactly. But I did get it running. What about this? Bless me. So what is this? I don't imagine we can use anything in it at the minute. Nah. Right, we'll come back to that. dig site, the new are near the legacy base. The first installation. You mean Site Alpha? Yes. Precisely. How did you know that name, Charlie? It's on the computers down here, for the mining setup. Warning. Energy reserves below 15%. I have to keep moving. This mining thing is like, I got five kids to feed. From Total Recall. Warning. No survey data found. Operation imminent. Survey data. Warning. Energy reserves below fifteen percent. I don't think that can give us anything. Or sampler. Okay, not so good. Should be able to get the core sample out though. Oh. This is used in mining operations to call out rock. Internal capacitor powers a mini laser fusion jet of superheated matter along a narrow cutting plane. The housing hasn't stood up to the elements and is coming apart at the seams. Mac could probably help it along. Oh, okay, okay. Right, let's destroy this. See what we can get. Microfusion laser and a scanner. Still not 100% of what we're supposed to do here. Um, let me go back to that thing, see if we can drop the laser in there. Doubt it. Unless. Can't do anything with that.
if we can't get anything to work on this, we'll switch to we'll probably switch to Matt and see where he is and what's crack like with him. Right. Ah. Insert the core sample for analysis. So we need to get the sample first. Where is the sample though? Okay. Try Mark. The umbilical's gone. No way back to the mule. Your only choice is to go deeper. I do not envy you. Was this door open up? It has. This whole place is coming down. You must enter the temple. You have no other choice. The temple. The temple? Temple to what? It doesn't matter. Get out of there, Mac. Great day I'm having here. Get to the temple. This temple, or whatever the hell it is, it's through here. Mac, hurry. Right. Well, Kane, damn it. Language, Mac. What happened? I dropped the laser. Hold on. What happened to the... What happened to the magnet? Can you remember we had a magnet ages ago? Right, we've we've royally fucked that. Yeah, we're still with the brain. That's definitely the thing talking to us. Oh no way. Yeah, the creature's trying to bargain. What the hell was that? Turn back. I don't know what it is. Some dark truth of this place. One of many. I have only heard it. Scary things. Safer here. Moses, you have to start moving. Safer here. Safer here. It's cries. They are... I would hear them, far away. Stay here, stay here. I know, you're scared, sweetheart, I am too. But we need your help. Please, Mose, we can't make it out of here without you. Moses is brave. Moses is strong. Yeah, okay, so maybe that thing isn't the brain. I kind of thought it was going to be the... Oh, a scope lens, that's exactly what we need. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a titty. <laughs> Man, we got some titties up in here. Right. Scary things. No scary things. Yet. The creature from the brain. Whatever it is, you likely have not seen the last of it. I am brave and strong. You are. I hope so, my friend. I hope so. For both our sakes. You are 
big ass bear dog right before we go but any be further sure not to spend working hours in pot shut him up shut him up Cain's nature is to shine the light of understanding into the world's darkest regions. But remember, dying is the hard part. On the other hand, working is easy. No, 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 no. Right. Let's do this. We can we can redirect the laser with this mirror. Cut open. Nice. Mike must hurry. Ah, oh, here it is. Dig site collapsed behind me. Made it. Barely. Okay, good. Okay, good. Where are you now? Give me a second. Where are we? That's a good question. The temple, apparently. Protrusions and sandbags. Yes, lots of like philosophers or scientific notes. Dead people. I see dead people. Don't want to go through there. Whose PDA is this? Dr. Abdulaziz. Dear mom and dad. I, lads, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that the guy that's speaking to us is or was once this guy. Dear mom and dad, I'm right to share with you the fantastic news that I have been transferred to the new facility. I'm excited about the opportunity and can't wait to share all the details with you in person. The work I am doing here is truly groundbreaking and I'm grateful to be able to make such meaningful contributions to my field. I am also thrilled to let you know that my superior mentioned the possibility of a bonus leave if I continue to excel in my work. I miss you both and can't wait to see you again on the ring. Until then, please let, please know that my love for you is as strong as ever and you are always in my thoughts, Abdul. I look closer to the drone footage of the ancient water wheels surrounding Black Sand Beach. They were primarily used for milling. What's even more fascinating is the substance they were grinding. The millstones are coated in a fine white powder. I had it tested and it turned out to be bone dust, human bone. Why they were grinding remains a mystery. Ceremonial use, dietary supplementation, animal feed. You want to hope it's a uh, passive bone grinding of, of ready dead things and not just active where they hunt. I understand the company's desire to expand Omega deeper into the cave system still. There are no practical way of doing it without damaging sections of the excavation site. Do we really need a STEM station down here? These ruins are still mostly unexplored, but their inhabitants were remarkable. Even from what little we know, their technology was far more advanced than any other civilization from this period by hundreds of years. The historical significance of these findings cannot be overstated. They could change everything we know about our earliest ancestors. I implore you to halt expansion until we can find a way to preserve the ruins. At the very least, allow me to plead my case in person when you arrive next week. A C-14 sample from the oldest milled bones have been dated 1650 AD. Meanwhile, the structures themselves go back thousands of years. Perhaps the sample was contaminated. Either way, we must keep the site intact until we understand what we're dealing with. The core samples were drilled at 560... 
sorry, at 5,671 hertz at 1.9 meters a second squared. Indicate that most of the cave system compromises, comprises calcic plagiolase thanidine with augite, olivine and a small amount of lucite. It is unusual for this region, especially the ocean floor. The weathering further suggests that this outcrop was exposed to sun and wind some 2000 years ago. Today my heart is heavy with grief. I received the terrible news that a vet was tragically injured. Thought of informing Captain Hayes in up top is just horrid. The loss is truly devastating. I found the critters that escaped from animal testing. They were breeding in the refrigeration tanks. I don't know what my colleagues were doing with them in the lab. Still, they should be more careful. Those things are nasty. Pluro antimonic. Acidic blood and all. These are just like face huggers, I bet. Got word of the base lo lockdown. Guess I'm going to be stuck here for a while. I'm not complaining. Can't keep moving people into the temple. Even if the quarantine lasts only a few days, they are damaging an incredibly valuable excavation site. Find another place to put them. Everybody is piled into the Prime Omega Laboratory. My claustrophobia has kept me out here. It has been so tranquil. Where is everybody? The decon chamber alarm was going nuts. I looked through the lab door. It was piled high with congealed torsos. At first glance, I could see something that looked like a gnarled tree with knotted branches and a twisted trunk. But upon closer inspection, its branches were made up of human arms and legs, twisted and contorted into grotesque shapes. The trunk was composed of torsos, stacked one on top of the other. The eyes and mouths opened to open in eternal screams of agony. The creature seemed to pulse with life, its limbs writhing and twitching as if it were in constant pain. Every now and then, a blood curdling scream would emit from the mouths. I've collapsed the bridge to ensure it stays in the lab. I don't fear death, for I know nothing is left to experience pain once my mind is gone, but I would have liked to explore more of the world and uncover our shared past. Alas, even this current project, which will take my life, remains unfinished. The many stories in the walls, waiting to be told, will not find their interpreter in me. There is comfort in meeting my end locked up in a temple erected by a lost civilization. It is a good death for an adventurer. If you find this log, please have my body sent to the corpse ring for burial. I promised my parents I would return to them. I think the voice is this guy, if I'm honest. Abdul. Abdullah. Ugh. Cain's reign. Is it... it's still alive? The creature is. Not the poor bastard underneath it. An unpleasant end. Maybe you can cut it off him? That oh, I. Getting true. Oh yeah, cut it off him and then have it feast on me. I don't really think that's a wise idea. I'll give it a shot though. This thing's blood. It melted right through the metal. Cutting it open didn't stop it. Uh, no. It's writhing. It didn't even notice. I'd say. Very little would stop it. It is a higher form. Compared to what? Yeah, very similar to aliens and alien. Okay, we don't have anything else to play with that. I can hear heavy breathing. Oh, jeez. That is a long drop. Distance to the bottom of the crevice is incalculable. Well, that makes me feel better. What are you going to do? Gotta get across, obviously. Need to bridge the gap. Somehow. Oh, shit. Okay. Charlie, you see this? The reaction in the metal? Yeah. It's amazing. Some sort of chemical reaction? An ancient technology. And like everything else here, one better left alone. Wish I had the luxury. If we had a spanner or a wrench 
we can undo these. I think we do need to do that. I don't know what to do with this yet. Palisade. Right. I think we should... Hmm. Ah, okay, let's try and light it all up. Ta-da! Oh! We've done something. We've definitely fucked it. <laughs> right, we need to unscrew this. There's going to be something down here blocking something. We need to remove it. Right, when we find a spot out, we know what to do with it. Right, let's go back to... Where was she again? She's currently running out of life. She's... Ah, we need to get a sample off that creature and drop it in there, I imagine. Right, she's she's on 15% life support and we're taking ages. She's probably going to die. Right, little bear. What have we got? This door is locked. This door is extra locked. I hear you, Moses. I hear you. Just outside. Just outside. This is my lab. Great. Work on getting him out of there. I'm on my way. My Mac. Uh, this guy... This, this door's extra, extra locked. Do we really want to be in the lab? Yeah. We don't have anything for that. Life support, fire in the sequence lab, fire in the genetic storage, subsystems locked. Please select subsystem. Uh-huh. Right. We need some sort of instruction booklet for that. No movement detected. Oh, is that me? The bear it is. Locked broadcasting audio to artifact storage lab. Let me in, baby. Aha, look, we can go through the vent. You are in artifact storage. Lisa Simpson. Hey, now. Reggie used to spend his days at my feet, and now he sits on my desk in a well-deserved position of prominence. He will always be my most cherished possession. After all, the loyal pup was awarded to me by Cain himself upon his glorious rebirth. The, anthropo the anthropological laboratory is well stocked at my choker position demands. The specimens are mostly well preserved. My assistant is an adequate aid and welcome company despite some squeamishness on his part. I begun analysing the samples, starting with three sets of human remains discovered in the ocean floor during construction of the thermal reactor. Low temperatures aided in their preservation. Initial dating puts them in the late 20th century with clothing suggested Soviet military personnel circa the 1980s. The cause of death has not been established conclusively, but they are signs of malnutrition and starvation. I will perform a dissection to study their diet after they, this recording. Then I will begin an initial pass on the anthropological specimens supplied by Dr. Moon. There is a definite incongruence with the specimens received by Baron, which appear to be much older. 
I've looked at the signal that drew Kane Corporation to this place. The instruction set is naval, using defunct Soviet encryption on ULF, 12 second repeating. How could this signal emanate from the bottom of the Pacific 150 years after the fall of the Soviet Union? Irrelevant to my research, but fascinating. The message requests the evacuation of 32 crew in good health. Judging by the three fellows I've been studying, help never came. In other news, my relationship with my new assistant is deteriorating. He recoiled in disgust when he saw Reggie, horrified that I put the dog on display. It's bizarre that a man who works with human remains is bothered by such a beautiful work of animal taxidermy. Nevertheless, I've noted to discuss the matter with management and church officials. I've been asked to break bread with Slyer on Cane Day. Reggie, this calls for a real celebration. She's tapped. Everybody's tapped. We retrieved patient 818386. Although the infection had rendered him unconscious by the time we found him, we placed him in hyperbaric chamber for further study. He claims to have no memory of his infection vector. The medics don't know if his condition is contagious, so they're taking all possible precautions. Initial scans show his brain is in a state of constant activity that looks like dreaming. We're going to jury rig some devices to record his thoughts. What worries us is that the infection is dissolving his biomatter. Hair, skin and muscle are falling to the floor. Several of his organs are failing. Further expeditions in at the well have been halted until we know more. 818386's affliction is morbidly, morbidly fascinating. I've spent nights watching his body slow deterioration through the glass portals. I even catch myself speaking to him when we're alone airing my frustrations as if he were my therapist. I didn't expect to find therapeutic sanctuary in the disintegrated miracle that is my grouchy former assistant, but here we are. Cain delivers when all seems lost. Over the past year, most of his body mass has slowed off, but his brain and nervous system remain intact. They appear to be functioning normally. Although they are sending and receiving ghost signals, he seems blissfully unaware of his predicament. Thanks to this horrific miracle of biology, we have resumed efforts to record his thoughts. If we can make sense of the data, we may gain some insight into his affliction. The first recording should be ready within the hour. Ah, I think we're going to need that recording to speak into the mic to maybe get security clearance for a door or something. Salaya, I know you want to be kept personally abreast of any new developments with our patient. The first recordings of 818386s are possibly more astounding than his physical condition. He's remained fully cog cognizant cognizant at the same time he appears to be experiencing some confusion surrounding his memories which he already mentioned when he was first quarantined we've requested a relevant specialist to be sent here to help us until then we'll keep monitoring and recording i continue to visit him whenever i can somehow even when i was talking to my dog i didn't realize how desperate i was for companionship the shock of his condition life paid down to a fragile network of signals has forced me to admit how far away from everything i feel trapped in this claustrophobic complex at the bottom of the ocean working towards what exactly dr hayfest has concluded that 818386's visions are real memories but they are bleeding into him from an external source he's inheriting the memories from something this notion is unsettling, but we can't deny that his memories frequently corroborate new findings to which he is not privy. Does he understand that these memories are not his own, or is he beginning to think they're all his real memories? Is he trapped in those moments? Dr. Hayfest has identified the cause of his condition, foreign microbes resembling fungal growth in his brain. Dr. Moon modified the microbe as a more complex strain of PS139, and I'm sure you know a protoform of PS139 is what drew Kane here in the first place and why the original alpha base was built. Meanwhile, we are investigating ways to establish a continuous feed of his thoughts so he can talk to us directly. Is it strange that I've come to see him as a friend despite the condition? I think about what it would be like to experience other people's memories as my own. What happens to your sense of self when you feel like you've lived a hundred lives? I think that would be torture. It would be torture. Remembering things that weren't, wasn't you. The doctor is waxing poetic about arrowhead that is the source of the infection i'm surrounded by idiots i miss peaceful strolls to commune with the father and watch the light show at least he understands lisa you are too close to the subject and this project has exceeded your scope of expertise i've put you in a formal request with corporate for your transfer to the mule reggie what am i to do interesting she was developing a relationship with the fucking brain
Well, that's the soldier. Wow. There's the brain. Maybe that's the one that's talking to us. It's definitely going to be a brain. Alright, let me change the background to... This one was already on that. I know I've Pieces read that. And parts. This would be a fun puzzle. An apt analogy, my friend. A puzzle solved too late. Mac, are you seeing this? Look at the artifacts. The stone, it's... It's like the one we saw before, but... Oh, the symbol. It's... Soviet Russian. What the hell? Hope loved puzzles. Red Fleet. Empty. An observation pod, my friend. With nothing to observe. Like this, something could get out. Or in. Hmm. Empty organic sampler. Wait, right, let me... Sh I'm gonna leave it shut for now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. We don't have anything else. More drones of the tablets. Mortuary cabinet open. Reseal to avoid thawing. Charlie, look at the uniforms. Yeah. They're Soviet too. Let me ha have a look at these bad boys. Soviet lighter. Aha, what is wait there? Comrade Kirill, you must commandeer three suits from the locked storage. First, locate the thermite ingredients, potassium, ferric oxide, and aluminium, then meet me in the pantry. This looks fun to chew, even though it smells like toes. But oh, I do wish I could take just a little bite. What the hell? Right, that's it for that. Let's explore the vent. Oh, oh. no, Charlie Mac. Fuck that. Scary things. I see it, baby. It's okay. That's the creature that came out of the brain vat tumor. It's cries. I do not like this. He needs a way around it. There is no alternate route, I'm afraid. Then... He has to move it. Move it? That's okay, you're a robot, mate. Get a sample of it. Eat that. This is probably good. <laughs> oh, we got the bear killed. Oh. Is everything okay? Shit. I knew that was a mistake. I wonder if it just does it put you back before you died. It does. Death. We got death four. So there was three other deaths up until this point. I wonder how. I wonder what they were. I would like to see the death scenes actually.
Okay. How do we move this? Let's see if we can combine anything. I don't think we can. Lighter fluid with the acetylene torch probably won't work, but we'll give it a shot. No. What are we doing with Big Boy here? We're still stuck here. Ah! Could this be used as a wrench? No. No, it could not. I think whatever we have to do, it's still with the bear. We do have a lighter. Ah, wait. Right, why might we need a lighter? That's a nice noise. This is. I've never seen these symbols before in my life. Or maybe... Is that this? I think... I'm gonna get a hint. This door won't budge. Its gears are locked tight. The gears are metal. And metal can be moved by magnets. Hmm, okay. I mean, there's good news and bad news. The good news is, he's give us a hint. The bad news is, I'm gonna fuck a magnet. Hmm. I do not know what the fuck this is for. What can we do with a titty? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yo, dog, I don't know what to do with a titty. Oh, organic sampler, man. Fucking idiot. Give me that. No? Sample the tit? That likes a bit of breast milk. No. Light it on fire? Nope. Dab a bit on that for later? Nope. I do not know what to do, lads. There's no... From what I've seen... There's no fucking logic at the moment that follows anything. This means fuck all. I'll wait there. You can't look at that. We can only do something with that, but... Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna get the hint of this as well. I can play sounds from here. Well, this we know that. Fun. Right, well, so it's the, the hints are actually dog shit. It doesn't really help you. Pretty obvious. We've got everything from these guys. This is... 
we need potassium ferric oxide and aluminium we know this this terminal doesn't have anything on it we can put something well we we have to can we not lure that creature in here and then trap it inside that would make sense but would it not how do we get it inside I don't know how to get that creature out of the the vent. I would throw that as a distraction. Scary thing. Scary noises. I have never heard noises like these. They are unique. What if? It hurt its own noises. Yeah, but the problem with that is how how do we we don't have a device that can record that? I am stumped. Completely fucking stumped. She can't actually do anything, can she? Right, that, okay, that's that. That's the boring machine. Can't do fuck all with that. The cave walls mean what? We have to do something. Oh, man, you, you fucking dickhead. Bro. Bro. I clicked that. The very first time we saw, I clicked that. We even tried using things on it, it didn't happen. You f fuck me in the arse. It's shit like this that I don't like in fucking games. You know what I mean? One random thing that didn't work and it's fucked us in the arse. Right, let's put this in here and see what happens. Copy it. Confidential report. Roger wants me to cap the entrance diameter at 18 feet. Makes sense. Downright logical. I'll round it up to 20 and create a bit more wiggle room. I can hear him scraping away as he works. Although I was supposed to leave hours ago, it's the least I can do to stray with him to offer my support. I've stopped trying to adjust the boring machine because I know the Geo team is working on finding the precise core frequencies that will allow us to progress, but that procedure will take several months. Despite this, I don't regret my choices. The universe is a harsh and unforgiving place. If we are not the ones struggling, someone else will likely be. And that's just how it goes. Right. The machine has analysed the rock specimen. Guess we need to find something to read the data. Right, well that's good because... We have something to read the data. Okay. The phone work. Something to read the data. The machine. I don't know, lads. We're just testing. We're just testing random things now. There's too many things going on at once. I just I can't remember everything. Copying survey data. There we go. Ah. We know the answer to this. Was it Abdullah's? 
No, it wasn't. Shit. We've recently got the information for this. Wasn't from Lisa, was it? I wish we could control F. I wish we could control F and find a fucking answer. was quite far down in one of these logs. It's not Atlas, it's got to be Lake. Unless it is Abdullah. There, we've got it, got it, got it, it is Abdullah. Right. 5671 hertz. 5671 1.29. 5671 1.29. 5671. Shut up, shut up, shut up. 5671. A fuck, you fucking dickhead. Mate. A fucking asshole talking to us. Forgot the fucking thing. What a twat. What? There. Five six seven one one point two nine. Five six seven one one point two nine. Five six seven one one point two nine. Five six seven one. That's it. Warning. Kane, heavy under central apparatus. One one three A in operation. Operation should be conducted by licensed HUDA. That's me, baby. Light it up. Is that so? its structural integrity. It very well could collapse on you. Bucket of optimism, are you, pal? Oh, yeah. The only way is up, baby. Right, what we'll do is we'll save the game here. At least we've got somewhere to go. So this is probably the thing we were missing. That stupid little thing on the wall, which... I don't know, lad. Lad, another thing, another thing. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's just because I've... I've I've played so far today, I think I've done about two hours today. But after turning the game off and, and reloading it back up today, I feel like it might just be me. Do you know when we use the ping? When we're in a puzzle area, when we, we open something up and it brings it full screen. When I've been using the ping, it hasn't really been doing much. Like showing you where you can click. like. I don't think it worked on that that rock there because I did I do remember clicking it. Um, or maybe I didn't just click it manually. Maybe I did just automatically try to use stuff on it. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know as a developer how you would actually fix that. Maybe that's more of a, a me problem than a, than a dev problem. But yeah, I think I think how I, if I was to make this game, how I would stop players encountering problems like that would be if I if a player clicks on something to interact and they bring the screen up like this, and because I removed something off that that core sample, I clicked it and removed it, and then that thing was protruding out the wall. I don't think you should have multi layers like that on a puzzle screen because the player thinks like, all right, I've clicked that, it's removed. Whatever's hiding behind there should should like be fixed into the wall, and it looked like it was fixed into the wall unless you can use a tool on it. That's where my problem problem came, rather than just oh well, I have to click this thing again and and pick that up. I don't know. It's it's a bit of a hard one to do, but we we've solved it. We've got a place to go. We know where we're headed. And hopefully this cave that we're going to now will alleviate some things we're having trouble with our other friends. Maybe get the bear through that fucking hole where the monster is. Hope you enjoyed the episode, lads. See you in the next one.